Hello everybody and welcome to the channel, it's Polyester here, and today I want to pose the question to you. Does Dead by Daylight have a parody problem? And what I mean by that is, how's your killer variety? So, this is a subject that I have been studying over the last month, and it came to the forefront when I saw this tweet here from Dead by Daylight, talking about how there's a rainy day sale on where you can get up to 70% off select outfits in the game. And then one of the responses that I saw here to the tweet was this one here. It said, can y'all add a filter to not play against Resident Evil characters? I'm beyond sick of playing uh, a Wesker or Nemesis 90% of the time. It's made me irrationally hate that franchise and have never even played a Resident Evil game. So obviously there's some hyperbole to this. They're exaggerating about the 90% of the time. But this is a sentiment I have actually seen echoed in my community. I've had people tell me that they have left Dead by Daylight because they just couldn't handle the amount of Resident Evil content. It was just a constant. Not the fact that they exist in the game, but the fact that they're played so much. It's not 90% of the time, but it is a lot. So this kind of brought back uh, to the forefront my census that I took for the month of March, and I just want to share these statistics with you because, you know, um, you know, facts don't care about your feelings, and it may feel like you're playing against Wesker or Nemesis 90% of the time, but what is the truth? So your experience may not be the same as mine, but, you know, I can only speak from my experience, and I took data based on my experience of over 150 matches of Dead by Daylight that I played in the month of March. And here is the census. These are the statistics of the killers that I saw in the month of March. Um, not a real surprise that at the, the top was the Skull Merchant because she debuted in the month of March. She was a brand new killer. So it stands to reason that people would want to play her more being brand new. Then right after that, after the 16 Skull Merchants, we faced 12 Masterminds. That's Albert Wesker. So he is the second highest ranked here. After that, we had 12 Huntresses, then we had 10 Nemesis, and 9 Knights. So that's your top five there. And of the top five, uh, just note that, you know, we've already covered that the Skull Merchant was brand new, so her pick rate being higher isn't a surprise. But also, you have to remember that during this period of time, there were some Rift Challenges, which required you to play as either the Huntress or the Knight in order to complete those Rift Challenges. So that may also show an uptick in uh, the pick rate for Huntress and Knight because of those requirements. They may have skewed lower if they were not in the Rift. Heaven help us if we ever have a Resident Evil tome with Rift requirements that uh, <laughs> that force you to play as Mastermind or Nemesis. Because these are their numbers raw without any requirement tied to them and their top four. Then after that we had the Artist, the Blight, uh, the Deathslinger, six times. Nurse, six times. Shape, that's Michael Myers, six times. Six Wraiths, five Leatherface, Bubba the Cannibals, five Doctors, five Legions, five Plagues, five Spirits, five Trappers, four Ghost Faces, four Amanda the Pig, three Cenobite, that's Pinhead, Three hillbilly. I'm actually surprised that this was as high as three because normally I get like one hillbilly a month, so he skewed higher. Um, three tricksters, two demogorgon, two dredge, one ex uh, sorry, two executioner. That's um, a pyramid head from Silent Hill. One nightmare. That's Freddy Krueger. One oni, and then we had four no shows all together. Zero clowns. Zero hags. Zero on Rio, that's Sadako from Ringu, and zero twins. So that's a total of 152 matches, 22 of which were matches versus Resident Evil characters, Albert Wesker, the mastermind, and Nemesis, which is 14.47%, or one in every seven matches were played facing one of those two killers. Keep in mind, we have 31 killers here total, 
and we're seeing either Wesker or Nemesis seven matches. And you should also keep in mind that some of these killers are free. Like um, Hag on every platform except for Steam, I think, includes, uh, maybe not on Epic either, includes Hag. Like on console, you get Hag and Doctor for free, and she's a no-show. So, and also keep in mind that you have to pay for the Mastermind and Nemesis. You can't use Playtime Shards to unlock them for free. You have to spend money on these two characters. So I would think in general, not everybody has money for DLCs. I would think in general, the characters that you can get for free, either because they come with your base game or you can unlock them with Playtime Shards, that those should generally skew higher because of the ability to get them for free rather than having to pay for the characters buying the DLC through your platform store or um, game. So, what do we think about this? Uh, is this a concern? I, I would like to see, you know, all of the numbers around this six, seven, five, six, seven range where we would have a balanced variety. I do think that this should be a concern for Dead by Daylight because of a stale factor. If people feel like they're just facing the same killer over and over again, that contributes to a stale factor. Like I said, we have 31 killers here, and you know the the top four here are outdrawing like the bottom 10 by themselves. You know, we have <laughs> we have more masterminds than like all of these combined. So you know, I understand when I hear people in my community saying I can't handle it anymore i don't like it anymore and it would be okay if um nemesis i don't think it is is bad i don't mind facing a nemesis i think it's quite fun but mastermind i can see why some people might not be having fun with it because the um the kill rate is is quite high so they gave us these statistics back in october we don't really have anything to go on um since this, but you know, Mastermind hasn't changed a bit since then. I don't think. Let me see. Let me see. Size this better. Cutting off part of the side here. There we go. So we they gave us this stats here. Kill rate from every killer, all MMRs. And you know, Wesker's here. These are all three paid characters, by the way. And um Wesker's here at the top, all MMRs at 63%. And then if you go down here for the top five, if you're in the top five of MMR, Wesker is statistically the best killers, killing 65% of all the survivors he faces. So um, two thirds of all the survivors he faces are not going to escape the trial. It's just the way that it is. And so then when you look down here at the, the pick rates here, you know, we, we kind of see that these statistics generally match up with my census where you see like the twins that showed up zero or less than one percent of games played here uh the hag at 0.8 percent isn't much better at the top mmr they're, they're quite low so this kind of backs up the my own personal statistics but then when you look here the mastermind with a 25 percent pick rate at top five mmr you kind of understand where this person's tweet is coming from about facing so much resident evil when one out of every four games at top mmr is versus wesker now you know these statistics are old they may have changed and not be quite that high but i do think that they significantly skew higher than the average killer now is this a problem for dead by daylight i would say yes when i have people in my own community telling me that they left because they're tired of facing Wesker, that's an issue. And we just had a PTB where, you know, normally this would be around the period of time where they would give pause and look at data, which we have data here of um, Wesker's kill rate and decide if they're going to make adjustments to a killer. But instead we had a PTB where the adjustments were or Hag, as far as being able to flashlight her traps, uh, Wraith, as far as being able to burn him with flashlights, and Hillbilly, where 
you know, they had nerfed his engravings, but went back on that and uh, changed his overheat mechanic. We didn't see a single adjustment for Wesker, who is the deadliest killer in the game at all ranks and especially at the top ranks. Not one single adjustment. And we're going on eight months that he's been in the game. So I don't know what's going on. And my fear is I, I would love to see much more balance, get all these numbers in line, the pick rates more uh, tightly knit and the kill rates more tightly knit. And my fear is that as we layer on more and more killers, we're up to 31 killers now, the devs just don't have the time or they have less and less time to make the adjustments to these killers to balance out their lethality, which will balance out their pick rate variety and that parity that I think is necessary for the game to thrive. Because if the game is turning into Resident Evil by daylight, now don't get me wrong, I know that Resident Evil is a very popular franchise, but this is something that people came in with, you know, sky is falling for Stranger Things, that they felt like Stranger Things was going to dominate the game and it was going to become Stranger Things by daylight and that they would hate the game because it wouldn't be any variety and it would just be Stranger Things characters all the time. And that didn't happen. But now we kind of are seeing that happened to a degree with the Resident Evil characters. And I see people who are saying, I hope we get Lady D this summer for the seventh anniversary chapter. And that could happen. That could happen. But then it just becomes more and more entrenched into, is this Dead by Daylight or is this Resident Evil by Daylight? And again, I don't have anything against these characters, but if it gets to be too much Resident Evil content, and I do think that makes the game stale. And I can understand why people like, um, same here, Sibo, are tired of it. So, uh, yeah, as I said, I, I'm so shocked that eight months we haven't seen one change to Wesker's kit. He's quite strong. And um, what do you think? Do you think he's fine where he's at? How do you feel about playing against Wesker? I'm sure there's going to be a lot of killer mains who are out there like, you don't want any killers to have any fun. Believe me, I, I think it is a tremendous amount of fun to yeet a survivor across the map as Wesker. I just think he's quite strong and there should be some adjustments made to his kit because he's like the full package for map traversal, a slow down mechanic to keep people off gens. He's got everything. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, do you feel like the more Resident Evil, the better? Like, you just can't wait. You hope that every chapter from now to the end of time is <laughs> more Resident Evil. Or is it enough with the Resident Evil? Want to see something else? Uh, give me some other license, anything but Resident Evil. Where do you stand on this whole topic? I would love to hear your comments and pick your brain do you have any of these same sentiments that SIBO has or the people in my community who said, well, I just had to walk away from the game because it was too much Wesker all the time? So where do you stand on all of this? I would really love to hear from you and get your opinion on the whole thing. But me personally, I do believe that variety is the spice of life. And some of these killers here that got goose eggs on my census for the month and even the ones and twos. I would like to see more of that and, you know, less of this. So where do you stand on the whole thing? I think this six, five, six, seven is like you know, a good range. If everybody was in that range, five, six, seven, tops were sevens, bottoms were fives, then, you know, that would be healthy for the game. But I don't think it's healthy the way it is right now, in my personal opinion. I want to know what you think. So let me know. But that's all I have for you today. Thank you so very much for watching. I'd love to show you which outfits are on sale, but, you know, I probably own everything, so I'd have to, like, go into an alt and show you the sale cosmetics. But go and check it out and see if there's anything that you want there um, until the 18th. It's on sale. That's all I have for you today. As always, appreciate the time that you spend here with me on my channel. Don't forget to take care of each other in and out of the fog. See you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.
It's a Jen Rush life for us. It's a Jen Rush life for us. Set a hiding, we do gens. Set a randoms, we got friends. It's a Jen Rush life.